So, my responsibility here is to welcome all of us to perhaps our final leg of preparations towards the big responsibility. <clears throat> Over the past months or one year, all of us have been putting in the right levels of energy to bring us to this stage. And as a family, we stuck together and ensured that today we are here. Having come this far, it's important for all of us to keep the team spirit the team unity and the common vision that all of us have placed before us in full focus. We are here to compete at the highest level of football. <coughs> we are here not to make up the numbers. We've been at the Mondial before. The last time we went out in the quarterfinals. <clears throat> so what that means is that we are competitive enough to play at this level. What that means is that we have the capacity to either equal what we have done before or perhaps go much further. This is possible. But this will be possible if all of us behave in a certain way. If all of us behave well, and I mean it, this will be possible if when I come and stand in front of you, you pay attention and to listen to what I have to say. This is part of we being detailed in our thought process, in our thinking process, in our preparations towards we being competitive. We are not here to joke. The last time Ghana was at the Mondial, we played against Portugal. At the end of the game, Ghana scored two, Portugal, Portugal scored one. But Portugal won the game. The last time we played against Portugal, there were three goals in the game. Ghana scored two, Portugal, Portugal scored one. But Portugal won the game. <clears throat> I cited this example for us to think deeply about the small, small details that makes a team strong. That makes a team a winning side. And that includes paying attention to details, staying together, and doing exactly what your tanker team will ask you to do. If you behave the way we behaved in the friendly against Brazil in the opening minutes, we cannot be winners. All of you know how we conceded the goals. <clears throat> it's important that as we start this final journey, to pay attention to every detail, every information that is offered to us by the technical team. Some years ago, when we met as a family like this, players misbehaved. Players didn't pay attention to simple instructions. Players didn't comport themselves well. At the end, we didn't get what we want.
This new journey must be the beginning of our new image as a national team of Ghana. We come from different backgrounds. We are different people. We will have differences. But when it is that the differences come up, this is the family. Let every difference stay here. This is very important for me. When the differences come up, let's ensure that the differences stay here. And when we stay as a family, we'll be very strong and we'll win battles. When the score line is three, and Ghana will score two, we'll come out as victors and not as losers. We know that we had so many players to pick from. At the end, the Tenkar team picked the 26 of you. Aiko, 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 I can't feel it. You think it's a privilege? You think it's a right? It's not. It's an opportunity given to you by Ghana to represent the country. And I love what I saw when I walked through, when you guys walked through that door. The happiness on the faces of each one of you to have come together again, to stay together again, and to fight for glory. Congratulations. When the squad was announced yesterday, the entire country stopped to listen. And to watch. The entire country wanted to know which 26 gallant men have been picked by the coaches to represent our country. And who are the 26 gallant men? You are. You have the support of the country. Country is looking up to all of us here to bring a new lease of life into our country. And that new lease of life will be provided via the football platform. Let us remember the year 2022, a year that the Almighty God has given all of you from the head coach to everybody here, to each one of you, a chance to give hope, to heal wounds, and to bring a new lease of life into our dear country for God. <clears throat> we have a responsibility. But what is important is that I believe in this family. And we believe in this family. And we believe that we have prepared enough, we are ready, and as a family, we will play our hearts out to make our country great and strong. On the 23rd, I expect the president of our country to be with us. That should tell all of us what this means to our dear country. If the president of the country will be with us, it means Ghana is with us. Your families are supportive of us. Everybody in Ghana and beyond is with us. So you should have all the confidence to go out to play your hearts out. We we'll fear no fool. Because we are Ghana.
I wish you well. Let's comport ourselves here. It's very important. What we do here in the last few hours is so crucial to what is likely to happen in the good days. So let's comport ourselves. Let's be there for each other. Let us be there for each other. Ghana, Brazil, friendly game, opening minutes, very tough. I didn't see us being there for each other. I didn't see. I didn't see we being there for each other when it was tough, when we were unsettled. But these are lessons that we can pick from those exercises. To learn to stay with each other, to pep each other up, so we can go through difficult battles. I said, Ghana versus Portugal, three goals in the game. Ghana scored two, Portugal scored one. The victors was Portugal. Think about it. Good luck.